16, Leafy Sea Dragon. Another creature from the ocean that is sure to make waves when you realize it's real is the Leafy Sea Dragon, a perfect name for it. When you look at it, it looks like a simple piece of seaweed, yet it's actually alive. The creature was found off the coast of Australia and is proof that the ocean still holds many secrets. The only way to notice that this thing is alive is to look for its eye or to see it move in an unnatural way as it goes to get food. Like seahorses, the male takes care of the eggs until they are born. They are some of the best camouflaged creatures on the planet, so their population is unknown. A lot of divers started looking for them and keeping them as pets, so the Australian government passed a law protecting them and listing them as critically endangered. Number 13. Angora Rabbits What is there to say? This is a rabbit that has so much fur, you honestly can't tell that it's a rabbit. I bet you were expecting something much different when I mentioned rabbit in the title, right? Well, to give you a few facts about this rabbit, it's found in Turkey and it was once a prized pet for French nobles. And obviously, these rabbits were prized for their fur, which is why they were bred in decent numbers, so their hair could be shaved and used for other things, like making a nice, cozy sweater. Do any of you have this rabbit as a pet? You can watch them getting blow-dried on YouTube, which makes them even fluffier. Number 12. The Pangolin There are a lot of weird creatures out in the world, and some of them look like fusions between other animals. One example of this is the pangolin, a mammal known to roam the lands of Asia and Africa. It's also one of the most trafficked mammals in the world. Why? Just look at it. This is a literally armored mammal, something that doesn't exist in the world outside of its native lands. That shell is made of keratin, which is the same material that is in hair, claws, hoofs, antlers, and more. While certain mammals have shells or hardened skin, it's nothing like the pangolins. Thus, it's rare and thus people want it. Because of all that, it is now a threatened species despite its defensive capabilities. It's also great at pest control and loves to eat ants and termites. Number 11. The Commodore Take a look at this breed of dog. Do you think that this breed was made to look like this? You'd think someone spent hours and hours creating dreadlocks in this dog's fur, but nope. This is the Commodore, and that's exactly how it looks without anyone touching it. Is that not strange enough for you? Well, these dogs don't shed their locks ever. In fact, they barely shed at all, so that's good for you with allergies, or if you hate getting pet hair on your clothes. What's more, despite the weight those hairs put on the dog, they're actually very quick and agile. Also known as the Hungarian Sheepdog, or the Mop Dog, they were bred in Hungary to protect livestock. They are very protective of their family group, and the major challenge is keeping them clean. If they get even a little bit damp, they start smelling like mildew. Seems kind of like an impossible task. Number 10. The Axolotl From the weird to the creepy, I present to you the Axolotl. Yes, it really does look like that in real life. That's why it's on this list. Anyway, the Axolotl is a rare creature in nature for many, many reasons. First, it's a type of mole salamander, which most people have never heard of before. I only did because I also included the axolotl in an animal superpowers video. It is only found in Mexico in a special lake. Second, it looks like that because its larva failed to change during its natural metamorphosis, which makes it as large as a salamander but keeps it an aquatic creature complete with gills and other underwater features. Just from a look standpoint, the axolotl is strange. It looks like a creature a kid would make in a drawing, that face especially, but it's very real. In fact, scientists study this creature because of its interesting ability to regenerate. It is believed that humans might be able to use this superpower to regenerate our own limbs in the future. Number 9. Glass Frogs It's incredible the evolutions and adaptations that animals will go through during their life cycles on this planet. However, you have to question some of them. While the armor of the pangolin is understandable, this creature's evolution is a little mysterious. Here we have a frog that's see-through. Now by see-through, I mean that you can literally see through its skin and view the insides of this frog, full stop. So if you ever want to study the anatomy of a frog without having to cut it open, this would probably be your best bet. However, it gets stranger for the translucence of this frog is only on the underside, on its belly. Why? I have no idea. The most recent species of glass frog was discovered in Costa Rica in 1973, but there have been other documented cases of glass frogs all over the world, which really makes me scratch my head as to how this happened. An also strange fact, the one found in Costa Rica is only one inch long, 
So why would this tiny little thing need a transparent belly? No one's even going to see it. Number 8. The Dumbo Octopus The name isn't referring to these octopuses as being stupid. Far from it. They're called this because they have fins near the top of their heads that resemble flappy ears, just like Dumbo the Elephant from the Disney movie. They're also curious creatures because they live really deep within the oceans. They've been documented as going as deep as 4,800 meters below sea level. That's really far. This is no doubt one of the reasons why humans don't get to see them very often. Scientists have started to study them more closely because it is believed they can grow to be quite large. It's also been discovered that they like to hang around hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor, likely because it's nice and toasty down there, and probably because of the nutrients that come out of them. It's creatures like these that make you wonder what else is waiting to be found on the bottom of the ocean floor. Number 7. The Saiga Antelope From the depths of the ocean to the vastness of Asia, three countries are home to a very curious breed of antelope. It's called the Saiga Antelope, and it's a pretty strange creature. Why the long face, right? Well, it's actually not its face, but its nose. What's more, that nose is flexible, kind of like an elephant trunk. Now, if you're wondering why you haven't seen this creature before, it's because of the fact that it resides in Russia, Kazakhstan, and Uzbekistan alone. So if you're not there, and if you're not obsessed with BBC's Planet Earth, it's fair to say you've never heard of them. So what does the nose do? Well, not unlike our own noses, the Saiga antelope's massive nose is used to filter out dust that it inhales. Though you have to wonder just how much dust it inhales because of this size. A more interesting bit is that the nose also somehow regulates its blood temperature. That would be convenient. Don't think how, just accept. Also, I need to make a note of that fur. While some versions can mimic their antelope brethren, some take a more snowy approach. Mainly their fur can be pure white, making it look like something out of a fantasy novel or Game of Thrones. Number 6. Paku Fish Piranha are one of the most dangerous fish in the world and have sometimes even been considered some of the most dangerous animals in the world. But their cousins, for lack of a better term, are definitely one of the strangest animals in the world. They're called the paku fish and they'll give you nightmares for different reasons. First off, these fish are huge and are much bigger than regular piranha. Second, and the thing I'm probably most thankful for, is that they're vegetarians. They only eat plants and seeds and nuts that fall from the trees. So far, so good, right? But it's their teeth that make people freak out because they look like human teeth. Yeah, while piranha have sharp and angled teeth to work their way through meat and muscles, the paku fish have more human-like teeth. Why? Well, it's because they eat hard objects like nuts and seeds, so they use their teeth to break them down and get to the stuff inside. They also have a reputation for eating other kinds of nuts, so men, watch out. Number 5. The Mary River Turtle this one not only looks strange, it acts strange. This is the Mary River Turtle and can be found in Queensland, Australia. And yes, it has green spiky hair. Why does it have green hair? I don't know, but you have to admit it looks kind of cool, right? Anyway, this turtle is by and large the weirdest turtle on Earth. Turtles have to come up for air to breathe, and this one does too. However, it can remain underwater for up to three days by breathing through its genitals. I swear I'm not making this up. The turtle has gill-like organs in the same place used by reptiles for excretion and mating. This turtle was once considered a good pet option during the 60s and 70s, probably for its alternative punk hairstyle. On a sadder note, the Mary River turtle is an endangered species. Number 4. The Gharial Let's talk now about one of the strangest and rarest animals in the world, from a family that you wouldn't expect to see on this list, a crocodile, specifically the Gharial. The gharial is a species of croc that can only be found in India. But as you can see, it's also one of the strangest crocodiles ever because it has a really thin jaw and mouth. Think about it, when you think of crocodiles and alligators, you think of their huge chompers that are used to break down deer, zebra, and other large four-legged creatures. But for the gharial, it's not like that at all. They use their very thin mouth, which has 110 teeth in it, to catch fish. And apparently they're very good at it. Now sadly, there aren't many gharials left in the world. At the last tally, there were around 235 in the wild, but there is likely fewer than that now. They're critically endangered and it's unknown if they'll be able to bounce back. Number 3. The Sun Bear Another type of animal you might not have expected to see on this list is a bear. Yet there is one bear that most definitely qualifies, the Sun Bear. So why is it on this list? Two reasons really. One, it's very small. 
It's actually the smallest bear in the world. In fact, they're called the bear dog because they don't grow much larger than 5 feet and can only weigh up to 150 pounds, not much bigger than a dog. That alone is strange, but it's not the only thing. The sun bear has a very, very long tongue. In fact, it's famous for its long tongue, but it seems like an oxymoron. Why would such a small bear have such a long tongue? They use it to stick down termite mounds and also to get honey out of beehives. They also have extremely long claws which they use to rip things apart. Number 2. The Sphinx Cat I hate to break it to you, but Sphinx cats didn't originally come from Egypt. These cats are born hairless due to a genetic mutation and started getting bred on purpose in Canada in the 1970s. It might surprise you that these cats have been known to have very outgoing personalities, so clearly it's not worried about its looks. Some people think they are the cutest things ever, and other people think that they are pretty ugly, but beauty is in the eye of the beholder. There is a catch with these cats though, so be careful. Because of their lack of protective fur, the Sphinx cat has extreme risk of getting sunburned or catching hypothermia depending on the weather. Number 1. The Platypus The platypus, or as some call it, nature's reject. Why? Because this animal literally looks like it was sewn together by a mad scientist. Or as one cartoon depicted, God running out of ideas and just throwing something together. In my opinion, it's extremely cute. The platypus deserves to be number one for one simple reason. When they were discovered in the wild, the scientists thought it wasn't really real, that it was a hoax put on by someone. Yet they are real and they are strange. They have the beak and webbed feet of a duck, the body of an otter, the tail of a beaver, and the male's